Welcome back to another episode of GSC. Been questions lately of why doesn't my turbo whistle? Why doesn't my truck have power? Why do I blow a lot of black smoke? Why am I sluggish? Well, let's go for a ride in Casper and I'll talk as I putz along around the block here and uh, I'll explain why your truck is probably struggling. Well, everybody wants to hear their turbo whistle. Everybody wants to hear it make boost and do all the cool things they're supposed to do. And everybody wants to, to get that good feeling when it lights up. And recently I've seen quite a few posted guys saying, why don't my turbos whistle? Why doesn't my truck have a whole lot of pickup? Why is it so slow? And there are a couple of things we need to think about. When your truck is struggling and you have kind of a dull exhaust note, there's a good chance you have a leak somewhere or you have a restriction. Why won't my truck whistle? Well, there are a couple of things that could be wrong. Chances are pretty good that you need a new turbo crossover pipe. They can collapse on the inside because they're a dual oil pipe. The donor gaskets can go bad. They rot out over time and they leak. And if you're not driving that turbo with exhaust gases, then it's not gonna whistle and it's not gonna make any power. You'll make a lot of black smoke. It's going to be sluggish, doggy, tired, and not quite perform to the way that you expected it to. The other thing is, is that you need to make sure that you've got a good, healthy air intake system. If your filter's clogged, if your filter neck can actually collapse on itself and suffocate the turbocharger, you will stop airflow, meaning you're going to lose power. Something else to consider if you're having whistling issues, if you want to call them that, or boost pressure problems, chances are pretty good that, well, you have tired injectors or you've got a low lift pump pressure condition. You may or may not have issues with low compression and possibly head gasket problems. There are multiple things that can contribute to a truck that doesn't whistle, but having your exhaust pressure leak out from around manifolds, around donut gaskets, crossover pipes, can all lead to a problem with the truck performing in the department of the turbocharger. So if you have a truck that's kind of doggy or you have a truck that just isn't quite performing the way you'd like it to and you just did a turbo swap, make sure you have the correct tune for that truck. Make sure that you have a good crossover. Make sure that you've got good compression in all eight. Check for pop head gaskets and make sure that you've got a good lift pump and injectors in it because otherwise you're gonna find yourself chasing a, a lack of power and a low power issue down a rabbit hole that most of us have already been down and if you can watch this video and it helps find your way back into optimal power with your truck then i would say you're in pretty good shape and if it doesn't well then we can always keep digging so make sure that your trucks are healthy make sure all your parts are working good and go out and enjoy them thanks guys